Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, the royals don't just have normal names like the rest of us, they also have grand titles that go with them. But it's often not just one title they are given for life. As time goes by, they can be undergo many changes depending upon where they are in the line of succession and major life events. So, even though we know Kate as the Princess of Wales, her son as Prince George and Suffy as the Countess of Wessex, this does not necessarily mean they'll still go by these titles in the future. So here we take a look at which royals are set for title changes, and when exactly these might happen. On his wedding day in 2011, Prince William was granted the title of Duke of Cambridge. And last year, when his father acceded to the throne, he also inherited the title Duke of Cornwall and was bestowed the title Prince of Wales, which is usually reserved for the heir to the throne. But it is likely that he will also undergo another major title change, but it will only happen when King Charles dies. That's because when this happens, William will automatically become king and will be known as His Majesty. Kate was also granted a grand title on her wedding day when she became the Duchess of Cambridge. And following the death of the late queen, she then took the female version of her husband's titles, becoming Princess of Wales as well as the Duchess of Cornwall. However, when King Charles dies and William becomes king, she will get her biggest title upgrade, Queen Consort. She will probably be known as Queen Catherine, Catherine being her real first name. On the other side, he may only be nine, but Prince George is second in line to the throne and could see numerous title changes over his lifetime. His current title is Prince George of Wales, but if he chooses to marry, he is likely to be given a dukedom. Also, when his parents become king and queen, as the male heir his father may choose to make him Prince of Wales, as it is not automatically given to the heir to the throne. However, the moment he is heir, he will also become Duke of Cornwall, as well as the Duke of Rothesay. Like her big brother Prince George, Princess Charlotte is also set for some dramatic title changes. She too is known as Princess Charlotte of Wales, but when William becomes king, he could choose to give her the title of Princess Royal, which is usually awarded to the oldest daughter of the monarch. However, as it is a title that remains for life, Charlotte could only be awarded it once the current Princess Royal, Princess Anne, passes away. There had been reports that her grandfather, King Charles, wanted to give her the Dukedom of Edinburgh, meaning she would be known as the Duchess of Edinburgh but it is now thought that title will go to another royal. Instead of being made a duke, Prince Edward was made Earl of Wessex when he married his wife Sophie in 1999. However, he is set to eventually get the title of a duke when it is handed to him by his brother King Charles, and that the title will be Duke of Edinburgh. It was announced at the time of Edward's wedding, he would one day succeed his father as the Duke of Edinburgh with the blessing of the late Prince Philip and the late Queen. Sophie, currently the Countess of Wessex, will eventually become the Duchess of Edinburgh, a courtesy title which was held by the Queen when that happens. There had been reports that Charles had been contemplating not giving the dukedom to Edward and instead awarding it to his granddaughter Princess Charlotte. However, it is now believed that the king will fulfill his late mother and father's wishes and make Edward Duke of Edinburgh. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about royal family. Thank you.